Oh, shut up. <gasps> I'm so excited. Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to the common room. Today on my channel, I have a brand new wizarding trunk box to open for you and I'm so excited to get into it because this August box is themed all around potions class. All right guys, so I know that it's been a minute since you've seen me on my channel. I had ended up taking, you know, a week long vacation. Me and Tabby and Chris decided to go down to Florida and we went to Universal and we went to LeakyCon and it was amazing. And I will have a lot more information about that whenever I do a haul video from that week. But that also turned into a few days of COVID when we got back home. So I do apologize that I've been gone for a little bit. I'm finally feeling at like 99%. I do apologize if I cough randomly while I'm talking. That's like the one little bit of COVID that is lingering. So again, I apologize in advance, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. I'm so excited to be back. Not only did I get a lot of things while I was on vacation, but I have so many other things from before that I also have to show you. So there's going to be a lot of content coming in the next few weeks and months. So I'm really, really excited about it. But before we get into all of that, of course, I'm super excited to open this wizarding trunk box. As you guys can see, we have a brand new box and I haven't looked too much into it, but I'm already very excited because it looks like an actual trunk. Like it's the wizarding trunk. So how perfect is it to have a little Hogwarts trunk to have all of our things in? So you can see they still have the Owlery on the front, but you can see it's the same little image, I believe but it's kind of got color now, which is super cute. And it says the wizarding trunk presents at the top and then it's got the Owlery. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but they've got like a few little things scribbled onto the trunk. And my very favorite thing that you can see on the front, it says up to no good, which is of course like the Marauders map. It's kind of right down there at the bottom. It says up to no good. And then on the side here, you can see that we have a little Wittershins joke shop, little like picture right here. Of course, it says fragile, magical delivery. And then we've even got Lavender Brown and Ron's initials on the side there. What else do we have on here? I think I saw, oh yeah. So on this side, we also have the Vial and Cantum, which is like the Wizarding Trunks, Borgen and Burks kind of store. But it says, I shall not tell lies on the side. And I absolutely love it. They've even got really good kind of font in there that even though it's carved in, it still looks like what you see in the movies. So I'm very, very excited about it. You can even see like the front of the trunk. So it really is a trunk. I love all of the, like the amount of work they put into this box. I know it's just the box, but it's nice. It's nice to have something just a little magical to open. And I can already hear myself because I'm just moving it around there's glass in it so i'm going to try to be a little more careful while i give you guys just a little bit of information about the box so as i said before this is the august bi-monthly box and it is all themed around the potions class you guys know i'm not a big snape fan but i am a big potions fan so definitely excited about that their bi-monthly boxes cost 54.99 plus shipping and they are guaranteed to contain at least eight to 10 items. Because I am a Wizarding Trunk rep, this box was sent to me for free. As always, I do promise to give you my honest opinion on all of the items inside. But if you would like to save a little bit of money on a box of your own, you can use my code MAGICALALLY and that'll give you 10% off your first box or individual purchases. Okay guys, but I have not opened a box in weeks and I am way too excited to get into this. So let me go ahead and give you a sneak peek so we can see what items we have inside. Oh goodness, it's a little heavy, a little heavy. Oh, oh, that's a, oh, this is shirt on top and it's like green, which is already really exciting because we don't get a lot of green shirts. So that's right on top. So that's what I'm gonna pull open first. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. I thought that I was looking at the front of the shirt and I am even more excited that it is a like front and back design. So the color of the shirt is really wonderful. It's kind of like a, it's like a foresty green color, but again, I'm very excited for it. So you can see that on the front of the shirt on the left-hand corner, 
there is just a little part here that says potions club and it looks like it even has like a little cauldron and that might be one of the runes that Danny uses for his designs. So I'm wondering if maybe this shirt is a design from Danny at Wizardry Workshop. So that's really pretty. I'm definitely a fan. But then look at the back of it. There's so much more going on on the back. You can see it still says Potions Club. It's got a lot of potion bottles on there. And then it still has like that little cauldron with the rune. Now I really like the potion bottles on here because they're all like different shapes. You can see a little heart one in the middle there, which is obviously a love potion. And then all of this little like lighter green, it almost looks like, you know, like smoke coming out of a cauldron. So I think it's really, really a good design. Yeah, I'm very excited. I feel like this is a very unique shirt to get, not only with the design, but the color of it as well. So yeah, I'm super excited to get to wear that one. So now that the t-shirt is off of the top of the box, let me show you what it looks like underneath. You can see there's a bunch of squigglies. There's a few boxes in here. I'm definitely excited. I always get excited for Wizarding Trunk because I know there's gonna be some really cool items in here. Now I think I see the alchemy for the skin item kind of on the corner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that out. Now most of their boxes do have an alchemy for the skin item. So let's see what we have. Okay, so this little guy is called Armadillo Bile. It says number 682, Orange Blossom Squeezable Wax Melt. It doesn't really tell me what it does. A lot of the times with the Alchemy for the Skin items, it'll kind of give you an idea of what it's for, but I love anything Orange Blossom. Their stuff always smells really good. So let's see what this smells like. There's a little, it's like a little thing on the top that I can, oh, you can't see. A little like topper, but I don't know if I can open it. Oh yeah, I got it. I don't know if that's gonna help me any. I can only smell it a little. So I'm just gonna take the whole cap off so I can really smell it. Oh, oh, it is like wax in there. I don't know if you can see, but it's just like wax. Oh, it smells fantastic. Squeezable wax melt. Am I just gonna like, like I have like wax burners in my house. Am I just gonna put this in a wax burner and melt it? I would not be upset about that because it smells fantastic. So again, we'll wait till the cheat sheet to see exactly what it is, but whatever this armadillo bile is for, it smells fantastic. Now I didn't say this with the armadillo bile, but it is kind of designed to look like a potion ingredient. So I'm wondering if we'll get a lot of like potiony ingredient kind of items. Now I have something that looks like it might be in a glass vial, also looking like it might be a potion ingredient. Ooh. So this one is called a calming draft number two. Oh, and it's also a product of alchemy for the skin. So this is something we can actually use, but before I get into it, look at how beautiful this is. Like, look at the back of it. That is just gorgeous. And I'm almost gonna be a little sad if I use it because it's put in there so nicely. But let's see, it says ingredients, sea salt, hibiscus, lavender, pink Himalayan salt, rose petals, and I don't know how to pronounce this one, you guys, calendula flowers that's what i'm going with so it's definitely kind of like a i'm thinking this might go in your bath <laughs> i could be wrong but that's what it sounds like to me you can look of course they have these beautiful labels on here which i'm assuming are from danny and the one good thing about this item is i don't have a bathtub so if this is for something bath related i have a really good reason not to use it but it is beautiful. I definitely want to put that on a shelf because that is just absolutely stunning. Okay, so we've had a t-shirt and two potion ingredients. I'm thinking we might have another potion ingredient. This is called Black Lacewing Flies. It says Authentic Black Lacewing Flies from Pure Blood Apothecary. And you guys, they really, they always just give us beautiful like designs. Like, look at how pretty this is. It's just a little box, 
but it's it's kind of aged but not really badly so it's still beautiful and then you can see on the back it says only the purest of potions so that is so pretty and I really don't know what's going to be in store for me in here like I don't know if it's just kind of you use the box as a display I don't want to ruin this box it's so pretty oh god it is just little flies in here let me take some out so you can see them. Ugh. I'm not a big bug fan, you guys. So these will probably stay in there and I will just display the box. And they definitely are good little fly replicas for black lacewing flies. And there is like eight of them in this little box. So it's a cute little potion ingredient. Definitely a good little replica, but I'm gonna keep those bad boys in their box because I don't like bugs. But this is also going to look really, really cool on my potion shelf. There's something else kind of in bubble wrap on the side. So let's pull it out. Oh, wait, it's just a candle. <laughs> I'm assuming this candle goes with something else. I'm going to put it on the side. But there is something, and I can honestly tell you, my brain is not telling me at all what it could be. But something is going to go with this little tea light candle. All right. There is a box in the middle here and I haven't seen it. It's kind of heavy. <gasps> Shut up. I'm going to be really excited if this is what it says it is on the box because it says it is brass scales. I have seen a few people with scales that you can see like in green gots, but they also use scales, you know, in their potions class. And I've seen a few people with scales and I think they're really cool. <sighs> Let's see. It says brass scales and I think this is a new shop from the Wizarding Trunk. It's called Warwick's Premium Potioneer Equipment. So here's this beautiful box, because you know they're always bringing us the beautiful boxes. It's, it's heavy too. I bet it is scales. I'm really, really pumped about this. I am so excited. It's definitely scales, you guys. Give me a second. I'm going to try to put these together because they're kind of in pieces to see what they look like. So there were a lot of little parts, but it was super easy to put these together. And look, you guys, they are true little scales. And not only is it a little scale replica, they have real little weights. There is a little like 10 gram weight, a five gram weight, two two gram weights and a one gram weight. But see, like you can take out these little, these little weights and it's just a real little weight. I don't know what this is actually made out of. I feel like it's made out of, it's very light, like it's heavy, but it's not too heavy. Like the base of it is really heavy. And of course the weights make it even heavier. This I feel like is just um, like a lightweight metal, but either way, it looks fantastic. You know, I say this in like every video, but of course I'm thinking of new, you know, shelves for a new bookshelf tour and I feel like I'm going to have to make a whole shelf just based around this now. So I am super excited. This is already definitely in the running for my favorite item. There's still so much in here. There are like some really big boxes. I feel like I don't know if I should get one of them. I like saving the boxes till the end. Let's see. Let's move some of these squigglies. Oh, it looks like there's a pin. So let me give you guys a sneak peek. I can't see what it is. All I see is it says Wizarding Trunk Exclusive and it has like some marble backing on it. Is that a potion? <gasps> it's the it's the potion of living death. Oh, it looks so cool. I might have to take this off of the pin backing for you because there's just a whole lot going on. But you guys, my favorite color is purple. So give me a purple potion and I'm gonna be super excited. It is like an actual little potion bottle. You can see there is a skull in there. And then you can see that the cork is like coming off the top. I really like the, like the mixture of the purple. It's kind of, you know, pretty, but then it's so, you know, dark of a potion. <laughs> yeah, I just really like that guy. Again, another wonderful pin from the wizarding trunk that is going directly on the pin board. Is there another pin in here? There's all kinds of stuff in the bottom of here, you guys. Before I get into the rest of the items, I just got like a good look at the inside of the new box. And look, 
it has all like the marbled stuff on the inside too. I really like that. That's just beautiful. So besides the cheat sheet, there were two other paper items at the bottom of the box. So the first one I'm going to show you is another page out of our Magical Creatures A to Z book. Now, if you guys remember, the last box that we received had the actual book that we can put these pages in. So it looks like we have pages 29 and 30. And, oh wait, no, this isn't, I am a liar. I just assumed it was a Magical Creatures A to Z page, but this is the potions box. So we have a actual potion recipe. So this is the preparation of the Wolfsbane potion. And you can see it's like an actual page out of the book. It tells us all the ingredients and everything that we need to do to make the Wolfsbane potion. It says that it's an extremely difficult to brew and advanced potion, which relieves the symptoms of werewolfism or lycanthropy. One dose must be taken each day of the week leading up to the full moon. I'm trying to see if it has, I was looking to see sometimes if they give us like a recipe, that might be what some of these potion ingredients are. But it doesn't look like it is because it has that we would use water and wolfsbane and moonwort, vampire bats blood, and then quicksilver seeds. But I think that's really cool. I don't know if they will give us, you know, like additional pages out of this book. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say they will. This is probably just a one-time thing since it's a potions class box but I still love it. It would be a really good little print to go on like the back of my potion shelf. And I think I do have a Wolfsbane potion too. So this would be like really pretty to go behind that. So yeah, I do like that little print. Now the next print that we have looks beautiful. It's so, it's almost kind of realistic, but it's just beautiful. Look at those colors. I really love everything magical and this just feels so magical to me to look at. You can see the potion or the, you can see the cauldron and you can see a potion like brewing inside of it. And it's so bright green and just beautiful. You can even see it has like the coals or the fire underneath it. And then we have little ingredients around it. Like we have a little egg here and then some kind of potion ingredient here and here. We've got a little mortar and pestle here. I wonder if this is for the Wolfsbane potion. I can't tell. It looks like there's some ginger kind of cut up on this little board. But again, another really cute print and another fantastic print to go on a potion shelf. I don't have that much room on my shelves and I don't know what I would rather have on there. But I feel like I can just see this on the back of a potion shelf, just giving it kind of this eerie magical kind of vibe so i really like it another fantastic print now i think that we might have a small key in this box as well i can see just the outline of the key but i haven't looked to see what it looks like Ooh, i don't know exactly what the initials on the top of it stand for you can see that it's like a little key with a potion and a cauldron on it now, sometimes they're hard to see because it's um, got a lot of black with black detailing on it. But you can see there's like a PS at the top. Ooh, does that mean like, is that like the potion storeroom? Is that what it is? I think that's what it's going to be. It's going to be for like whenever Snape talks about like his little store potion ingredients. That's what I'm assuming this is kind of a key to. So it has the cauldron with the PS at the top. But then you can see that there's like what looks like an actual little potion in the middle there. And that one kind of sticks out because it's like a yellow potion, whereas everything else on here is black. It almost looks like there's a little potion bottle on the pins as well. You can see that little guy right in the middle. So it's a really cute little key. I definitely, I think there's other keys that we've got from the Wizarding Trunk that I like more, but I do like that this is kind of like the potion storage or potion storeroom. I like the idea of it a lot and it's just a small little guy but he's definitely going to be going on one of my shelves. Chris said that the PS could stand for Professor Snape but I'm still going potion storeroom. We'll see with the cheat sheet who's right but either way that's a really cool little key. Now I am pretty sure that we have another pin in here. I don't know if it's an actual pin. It looks a little bigger than the one that we just opened earlier. 
I'm wondering if it's like a, a professor one because it has kind of the brick backing like I've seen on some of the framed ones and you know I love them. So I'll give you a sneak peek. Yes. Oh no. Yes and no. <sighs> you guys know I don't like his name. But he was a professor and he does need his own portrait. So it is a very good Snape portrait pin. I like whoever did the artwork on here because I do feel like Alan Rickman is wonderful, of course, but Alan Rickman made Snape more likable than I think he should have been. And the way that they have drawn him in this picture definitely reminds me more of what we see and read about in the books. So you can see he's very not nice looking. <laughs> he still has like the little remnants of the Snape we see in the movies, but he looks a lot meaner, a lot sallower skin as they say. But I do like that his frame is just black. I think that's really cool because I think a lot of the other ones that we've gotten have been kind of like golds and silvers, but he's just black and I feel like that's very fitting for his portrait. <sighs> So even though it's Snape and I'm not a big Snape fan, I am of course super excited to put this on my pin board. I'm almost to the point where I'm gonna have to get a new pin board just for these pins because I love them. I think they deserve their own kind of little display. And I really, really hope that we get more of them in the future. Okay guys, so we only have three boxes left for this August box. And I'm gonna have to open this last box that has some designs on it because I can see what it says. And if it's what I think it is, I'm gonna be so flippin' excited, you have no idea. Because it says Bone Regen on the front here, which is immediately making me think that there is like a Skelligro kind of potion in here, which will make my whole day. We already got scales, but at LeakyCon, I honestly saw a Skelligro potion that I almost picked up because I don't have anything Skelligro. But let's see. This says Bone Regen. It says Gallipot's Apothecary. I wonder if that's another new store that we'll see from the Wizarding Trunk. But it says Medical Remedies and Healing. On the side, it says Ingredients, Mandragora Leaves, Porcupine Quills, Black Lacewing Flies, Tangled Golden Glow Seeds, Powdered Human Bone, and Giant Spider Venom. <sighs> I'm so excited. It doesn't feel like a liquid kind of potion. I feel like it's gonna be like a replica. I really hope that it is. Yeah, usually our replicas come with this little bit of foam in the box. Oh, yes. I can see a little skull. Oh man, I am super excited. He's so good. Look at him. It doesn't say Skelligro, but it does say Bone Regen, but it's such a good little Skelligro potion bottle. Like, look at him. Look at him. He's amazing. I am obsessed. He, it's so hard, I feel, to make a good Skelligro kind of replica, and he's just perfection. I honestly kind of like that he's a little smaller, too. And I like that they even have like this little cork looking guy at the top. So he really looks like a potion bottle. And they didn't skimp out on the back, you guys, either. Like, look at the little cracks in the skull and the painting on the back. Yeah, he is absolutely fantastic and is going straight on the potion shelf. He's made out of resin, so he's a little bit heavy. But let me make sure he stands. Okay, he sits perfect. I sat him on the table and he sits flat. So he's definitely another contender for my favorite item out of this box. Two more boxes left and I'm gonna open this one because for some reason, I think it might be your real potion. Maybe not, I don't know. I open it up and I immediately see some twine, which I don't. Oh wait, but then I see a potion bottle too. I'm so confused. I have no idea what this could be. Here, I'll show you what I see. This is what I see on the inside. So twine, maybe a little burlap bag, and a potion. Oh my goodness, there's more things in here. So this box contained at least three items. I'm gonna start 
with this little guy. I don't think we can tell what he is. He's just a little bottle of some kind of green liquid. I don't know what it is, you guys. It's not labeled or anything. It obviously goes with the rest of this. I swear to God, if this is stuff for us to make our own potion, I might lose my mind. Because when I am looking, I see there is this bottle and it is empty. Okay, we have an empty potion bottle. Nothing on it, just the bottle with a little cork. But <clears throat> there is a little like label in here. I don't, it feels, I think it's a sticker so we can probably put it on ourselves because I'm pretty sure we're gonna be making our own potion. And it says Gilly Tonic, an aid to underwater breathing from Pure Blood Apothecary. Well, look at that label. It is absolutely beautiful. So we have our potion bottle. We have a little bit of a potiony liquid. We've got our label. And now we have this bag that is full of stuff. This is not an empty bag. I can feel and hear stuff in here. They're gonna give me a craft project and my family is super crafty. I am not, but I will make my own potion if that is what this is. Oh, shut up. I'm so excited. This is even cooler. Like, I don't know why it's so much fun that we're gonna get to make it ourselves. We have like, the actual little plant to put in our bottle. And then <clears throat> I'm not gonna dump these out. I'll dump a few of them out. But there's a, a bunch of little like pebbles to go in the bottom. I don't know if you can see, get my face away. <clears throat> but that's just a little bit of them. There are a lot more inside there. Okay, I don't think you can see. But there are a lot in the bottom here. So they have given us all of the potion ingredients to make our own potion, which I think is super cool. I might have to, I don't know if I'll make a video doing that. I'm hoping that the cheat sheet tells us a little bit more like what we need to make that. Because I can tell you, even with the plant and the bottle and the little bit of green potion, I know that I'm gonna have to put something else in here and I don't know if it's just gonna be like water, I've never made a potion before. As much as I love Harry Potter and everything that there is Harry Potter, I've never made my own potion, which might be why I'm so excited about this. But we'll wait until the cheat sheet to see if it tells us what all we need to do to finish this potion. But I definitely think that is a super cute little idea. I still don't know what this tea light candle goes to. I really hope it goes to whatever's in this last box because if not, I don't know. I didn't realize how much I missed unboxing stuff for you guys, but yeah, I'm definitely glad that I am back filming because it's so much fun. Okay, last box. You can see that there is some styrofoam in here, but there's like something black kind of poking its way out. I hope that whatever's in here is not damaged because this box is a little crushed, but it's in foam, so I'm hoping it's okay. What are you? It is. Whatever this is, is a little crush, but it's probably something I can fix. So this part, as you guys can see, is a little crushed on the bottom because my box was crushed. But I don't know if it's something I can fix. I'm gonna wait until we look at the cheat sheet before I start trying to bend this back, just in case it's supposed to have any kind of bend to it for like an eerie kind of vibe. I don't think it will, but I can tell in here that this is where that tea light candle is supposed to go. So I'm just going to set this part to the side. This is obviously a little stand. If I can't bend it back to how it's supposed to be, I'll definitely reach out to the wizarding trunk and I've never had any issue with them sending me a replacement. So let's look at what they have for us to go on that. So it looks like we just have a little, oh, oh. I think I know what this is and now I might be sad if mine is messed up. So we have this little, what looks like a ceramic cauldron. It's just a cauldron, there's nothing on it. But in a perfect world, if this thing is how it's supposed to be, 
you would put your cauldron on here. It's definitely not supposed to be wonky because the cauldron is supposed to be directly over the tea light candle. But you guys know what I'm supposed to put in this cauldron? That wax that we opened at the very beginning. That way we can light the tea light candle and it'll melt the wax and it'll smell fantastic. So that's super cute. I burn wax anyways. I could put that in my office because my work office is in here with all of my shelves and it'd be a really cute little magical thing that could just make my room smell really good while I'm working. I will attempt to straighten out this guy after I read the cheat sheet, just make sure he's not supposed to be wonky at all, but I don't think he is. If it doesn't work, I'll reach out to the wizarding trunk, see if they can send me just a new stand because my cauldron's fine. So they did a good job packaging it because nothing happened to the cauldron, which I would say is the most, you know, likely piece to break. It was just something happened with the bottom of the box and it just bent this up a little bit. But a really cute idea. I like that it kind of brings in that armadillo bile, which was the wax. And yeah, another really cute little usable item. So yeah, I'm definitely a fan. <laughs> All right, guys, so now that we have opened everything out of the box, let's go over the cheat sheet and make sure I knew what everything was and that we got everything. Now, I am excited to say that on the back of the cheat sheet, there is a little like potion recipe that says preparation of Gilly Tonic. So this is going to tell us what all we need to make this. So it already has the stones, the plant. Okay, the, the only other thing is it says water collected from the body of water that you intend to swim in. So if I had a pool, I would 100% just get the water out of that. Since I don't, I'll probably just get some tap water, but I think that's gonna be the only other ingredient we need to make our potion. But let's go ahead and go over the actual cheat sheet and all of our items. So it says the Wizarding Trunk presents potions class. The first item was the Potion Club t-shirt. It is only available for members of the Potions Club and was designed by Wizardry Workshop. Number two is the Cauldron Wax Warmer, designed to make your room smell just like the potion you're brewing. So yeah, there's no picture. It's not supposed to be wonky. I'll let you guys know if I get it fixed. Number three is the Armadillo Bile Wax Melts. A few drops of this squeezable wax melt into your new wax warmer will fill your room with the amazing scent of Armadillo Bile or orange blossom. <laughs> it says that it was created by Inflamare Candles and the label was designed by Wizardry Workshop. Number four is gonna be the portrait pin. The portrait hangs in the dungeon and oversees your potions classes. Number five is the potion storeroom key. I told you, potion storeroom, not Professor Snape. It says this key allows you access to the potion master's private storeroom and it was designed by JP Mistlepro. Then for item number six, we have the potions class print. This is a view from your desk during potions class and was created by Queen Mab. Item number seven is the Wolfsbane recipe page, a page torn right out of perfect potions. Then we have item number eight, which is the black lacewing flies, a staple for your potions kit or shelf. Box was designed by Wizardry Workshop and it was filled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Item number nine is gonna be the Bone Regen Potion. This healing potion mends and strengthens broken bones. It can also regrow vanished bones entirely. Then we have item number 10, which is the Living Death Pin. I dare say one drop would kill us all. Then we have item number 11, which is the Gilly Tonic Do-It-Yourself Kit. It says it's time to brew your Gilly Tonic to breathe underwater. We can't wait to see the bottles that you make. Decorate them however you like, and then tag us with hashtag TWT Potions Class on Instagram. The label was designed by Wizardry Workshop, and the kit was prepared by Pure Blood Apothecary. It does give a warning that this liquid should not be consumed. Then we have item number 12, which is the Vintage Brass Scale. Scales from Warwick's Potion Supplies are a necessity when weighing potion ingredients. And that box was also designed by Wizardry Workshop. And then the last item, which is number 13, is the Calming Draft Bath Potion. This mixture by Alchemy for the Skin contains the pink Himalayan salt, hibiscus, lavender, sea salt, rose petals, and calendula flowers. Calendula flowers? I still don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> but it does say that it makes a calming bath and looks great on any potion shelf. The label was designed by Wizardry Workshop. And then at the very bottom, it says the next bi-monthly theme, which is All Hallows' Eve, 
is on sale August 15th. So if you guys are wanting to purchase that, definitely go over. It is on sale now. And of course, it's going to be all around Halloween. So spooky season is my favorite. So I am definitely very excited for that box. But you guys, now that we know everything and we know that we received everything, let me give you my favorite and least favorite items. Although I was a very big fan of everything in this box, I think the one item that I'm going to say was my least favorite is going to be just the key for the potion storeroom. I'm still very excited about it, but it's just, it's a lot smaller and there's not as much to it as some of the other keys that we received. So not a bad item at all. Maybe just my least favorite one out of the box. <sighs> but now for my favorite. You guys, there's honestly so many things in this box that I am really, really excited about. I can't even lie. I think the, the most unique item that I am most excited to have received in this box because I don't really know where else you can get something like this. I haven't seen a lot of them and I think they did a really good job. Is 100% gonna be these little scales. They are such a good little replica and they are gonna look so good on a shelf. Like I know they're just scales, but there's something so magical about them. Like we see scales in Harry Potter multiple times. And yeah, I think they're just really, really cute. Now I do have a few other items that I would like to also mention. They might not be the absolute favorite, but I am super excited about this t-shirt. I know it's been a little bit since we've seen it, since it was the first item, but I'm still obsessed with the design and I am obsessed with the color of it. Oh, man, so much. I love the bone regen potion. I am so excited to finally have something kind of Skelligro related to go on my potion shelf. But I also really like the idea of the do-it-yourself potion for the Gilly Tonic. I'm definitely thinking that after I get this video posted, so I don't give anybody on Instagram more spoilers than I've already given you from the video, thinking I might do that live on Instagram. Leave a comment. Let me know if you would like to see that. I feel like it could just be, you know, really laid back. Like I could just talk to you guys while I'm making this potion. I don't really know. Let me know what you would like to see. But... It's a really unique thing that I haven't seen in any other subscription box, and I'm definitely excited to make my first potion. So overall, you guys, I think you can tell that this is another winner in my Wizarding Trunk boxes. I really enjoyed everything. I always say that I'm not the biggest Snape fan, but I am a huge potions fan. Like, I really feel like if I went to Hogwarts after Divination, potions would be one of my favorite classes. So I really, really liked all of the items. I really enjoyed like opening all of them, thinking of where they're gonna go on my shelves. There were replicas, there were usable items. I feel like the Wizarding Trunk really is just doing a fantastic job lately. And I am just so excited every time I get one of their boxes. So I definitely enjoyed the box, but as always, I would love to hear what you guys thought. So leave a comment, let me know what you thought about the box as a whole, and also let me know your favorite and least favorite items. As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the common room.